Hello and welcome to another numbers edition of Apple A Day. This episode continues my series on text functions for Apple numbers. Today I'll be covering the exact function. So let's dive right in. I've got a numbers document open and in the first two columns I have a pair of text strings. So the exact function takes two strings and compares them. If they're an exact match, it'll return true and if they're not, then of course it will return false. The exact function is case sensitive, so if the first text string has uppercase characters in it, but the second string is all lowercase, that will not be a match and the exact function will return false. Let's test it out. Under the exact column, I'll type in an equal sign to bring up the formula editor. Then I'll type in the word exact and press return. And you can see that it takes two parameters, string one and string two. I'll select John from the first column for string one and then I'll press tab to go to the second parameter, which is string two, and select the corresponding cell from the second column. Looking closer, you can see that in the first John, the J is uppercase, but in the second instance, J is lowercase. Therefore, not an exact match. I'm gonna copy this formula to the remainder of the cells. The second row is a perfect match. John Martin's is upper and lowercase in both columns and it returns true. Apple a day is not a match because the case changes in the word a from a lowercase character to an uppercase character. The phrase many spaces is also not a match because there are two spaces between the words in the second instance. The phrase space at end is also not a match because the second instance has an extra space at the very end. And of course the phrase spaces at front and back is also not a match because of the leading and trailing spaces. We can use the trim function to remove these spaces before the exact function performs the test. I covered the trim function in my last tutorial and the link for it is right here. I've also added it in the description below. So the trim function removes spaces from the beginning and end of a text string. So I'm gonna redo this formula. I'll type in the equal sign again and then type in exact and press return and for the first parameter, I'll type in the function name trim and press return. Then I'll select the first cell and press tab to move to the second parameter. Type in trim again and press return and then select the second cell. So what it's doing is first trimming the strings of extra spaces before it performs the exact function. So the spaces are removed, then it checks if they're the same. I'll press return and now it returns true. Okay, so now that we can see what exact does, how do we use it? Displaying true and false is not very useful in most circumstances. Well, like a lot of functions that return true and false in Apple numbers, you most likely want to use them within the if function. So in this next column called use case, we're gonna use the if function to test the results of the exact function. I've got a whole tutorial on the if function and you can find it right here. I'll also add the link to the description as well. I'll start at the top and type in the equal sign to bring up the formula editor and then type in if and press return. The first parameter is the expression to test. So here we're gonna type in the function name exact and press return. And while we're at it, we'll also incorporate the use of trim. So I'll type in trim and then press return and select the first cell. And then tab to the second exact parameter, type in trim again and press return. And here I'll select the second cell. And then I'll press tab again to go to the second parameter of the if function. And this is what will be displayed if exact returns true. So in here, I'm gonna type in the word match with an exclamation mark, and I'll put that in double quotes. And then press tab yet again to go to the last parameter, which is the if false parameter. And this is what's displayed if exact returns false. I'll just type in a hyphen within double quotes. I'll press return and this displays a hyphen for the first example, which is not a match. I'm gonna copy and paste this formula to the rest of the cells and everything looks great. We have hyphens being displayed when there's not a match and the word match when there is. But we do have one surprise. The phrase many spaces now shows as a match when previously it didn't. And that's because of the trim function. If you're already familiar with the trim function or you just watched my tutorial, not only does it remove leading and trailing spaces, it also converts any duplicate spaces within text to single spaces. 
So three spaces, for example, would reduce to one space. And by removing those duplicate spaces, these two phrases now are a perfect match. Well, that's it for the exact function, and that's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment. All of your feedback helps with the channel. I'm John Martins, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.